Here's a question, do I use a tablet? The short answer is sometimes. When I do use a tablet, it's one of these. It's nothing super fancy, but it, it gets the job done. Now, while I could explain every single scenario where I use a tablet, I don't think that would be very interesting. But generally speaking, I tend to use it for things which are a bit more curvy. So if we look at this smear frame I've got here, which helps transition the sword in this frame to the sword in this frame, and so on, it's got a bit more curve to it. While I probably could draw these with a mouse, it would require a lot of focus. So if I just have a go here now... No. 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 Okay, that's probably as close as I'll get to it. Another thing is I also like to use these two buttons here to switch between frames. So I'll use this one to go to a previous frame, and this one to go to a next frame, and that just it just offers a simpler way to go through frames, I think. At the end of the day, it's just a matter of using what you're comfortable with. I mean, you have people like Brandon James Greer who uses a trackpad, which I could never understand, but it seems to work for him. It's also very dependent on the style you're going for. I think if you're working with a much simpler style, then you can kind of get away with using things like a mouse or a, a trackpad, I guess. But if maybe if you're going for something a bit more detailed or where there's a lot more difficult to execute angles or... I don't know, if the animations are a bit more complex, then I think then a tablet is maybe more useful. And so you kind of have to decide what sort of thing you want to go for. In other words, don't choose your tools before you know what you actually want to build. But more importantly, don't think that by buying some new tool, you'll automatically become better at drawing or animating. It, it doesn't work like that.